Let's take it in the time lapse this morning. I stepped out. I was like, do I just wear the T-shirt or should I wear the jacket for a little while? And it didn't take long once we got that sunshine, but it was one of those mornings. We saw about a 40 degree temperature change. We we're in the 40s and some of us low 40s warming to near 80 degrees and some of us did get into the 80s. Gettysburg, Shippensburg, Millersburg, Red Lion, just a handful of locations to show you. It is a perfect evening to be outside. We've got Edwards and Duncan and Carlisle and Linnets. I wanted to show you these are some of the cooler spots. I had a neighbor that said eh, my thermometer reached 39 and I wouldn't doubt it. I mean, it was one of those nights with low humidity, uh, calm conditions. We had some chilly spots. Uh, we're still trying to hold on to 81 at St. Patrick's School in Carlisle. Eastern half of the US, it's mild. It's not extreme. There's nothing really uh, the, anything to point out to say, wow, there, that's, that's some wild weather going on. No, not really. Other than just some warm weather uh, temperatures. Remember, the average high now for us should be in the mid to upper 70s, about 76, 77 degrees. So that's uh, close to where we were for today. Here's the tough part about Saturday. So we got some showers lifting to the north. I still think it's going to be a close call because of this front. Now, if you've watched the, the last two shows, I showed you uh, our precision cast. We just had an update on the precision cast, too, and I, it's, it's more in line with what I'm expecting. So watch what happens because that front to the north wants to push those showers south and it's just the timing of everything between the moisture lifting the north and that front dropping south. So here we are. Tomorrow's fine. We don't need to worry about tomorrow. Uh, we'll start to see clouds increase for Friday night and here comes the showers. If you notice, they're going to try to lift to the north, but here comes the dry air in the front sinking south at the same time. So this is Saturday morning, just barely clips some of us and then begins to push to the south. I still think there's going to be some wiggling going on, but I, I like this output the most so far, where it just shows that, yes, there could be some showers around. Doesn't necessarily mean we're all getting rain Saturday morning, but the second half of Saturday appears dry. Mother's Day is dry. So get out there and get those flowers. All right, your weekend outlook. That's where we're going to put uh, Saturday morning then. Those showers were in the 70s. We do get a little bit cooler Sunday into early next week, but I like next week. It's comfortable. It's not pool weather warm enough yet, but it's 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 time to plant. And I had a question, is it time? And we always say around Mother's Day weekend, <laughs> you right. can go out and we don't see any frost or freeze now. It's time. It's time. You say it's a good night to go outside. Allie Barubi, our sports director, found a pretty good reason to go inside as well. She's live at Hershey tonight. Allie.